This is Jared with ProTurf Lawn Service again. Uh, we're out on another property, still looking for some more grub damage. I think uh, we're gonna have some success this time. Um, you can see behind me, we got a nice green lawn. This is a brand new customer. We've done no service on this property. And immediately as we walk back here to the backyard, uh, we've looked at several yards today at the brownness in the yard. Um, this one is distinctly different than what we've seen throughout the day. And uh, we're just going to swing over here, take a look at it. We'll pull up on some areas and let's look at some grubs. So we're going to come over to the brown area. We're going to go to the outer ring where there's green grass and brown grass. That's the first spot we're going to start pulling on. Um, so we'll get reach down, grab this, give it a tug. It is kind of loose with some air pockets. Okay, so we've pulled up the turf here. We have, here's a couple of grub worms right here. Pull him out, pull him out. It's kind of rainy today. So also the grub worms as it cools off can burrow down into the ground where it's warmer, so the surface is colder. Um, normally they like the, the sun so a lot of the damage of the yards are going to be typically like in the southwest corner and uh, guess where we're at on this property we're on the southwest corner uh, this area gets the most sun um, throughout the day this is the backyard the sun's going to set over here on the west and this just gets baked all afternoon long uh, and well into the evening so the grub worms are going to migrate over here where the most sun is for the day Let's see if we can find another good one. All right, so I can already see a couple more grubs. Here's one, two, three, four. Four more grubs on just a little pull up. There's five, here's a bigger one here. Here we go, this is a decent. So you can see how the, the turf does kind of roll up. The thatch is so thick it is tearing, but um, the, the color of this area doesn't match the fungus pattern that we've looked at in uh, several other yards today. So here are some grub worms. If you can see down here, we've got one. Here's a big one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven grubs all right here, eight nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 grubs within a less than a square foot area that we've, we've pulled up here. Can you see these guys? See this guy right there? That's the biggest one of the group. You can see them burrowed in right there. Um, so obviously, we definitely have grub worms here. This is where we need to apply Dialox at. Um, but you, you, you're not really identifying this stuff without getting on your hands and knees, pulling on the turf, and identifying the problem. Um, we can look through the grass blades here. There's not a fungus problem here. We're not seeing the brown patch. We're not seeing all the lesions on on the turf, but what we are seeing are grub worms. So we'll fold this back over, we'll stomp it down, and uh, we'll apply the Dialox to kill the grub worms. The product needs to be watered in. Hopefully when that takes effect, it'll kill off the grub worms and those roots will start to reattach and we'll get some of this area to green back up. Any of these areas that don't green back up will need to be seeded in the fall, September being the best month there. Now, if this customer would have been on service with us and done a grub control, if there would have been any kind of breakthrough with that, we take care of the problem. We, we will Dialox the, the problem for free, and we will, if any areas don't recover, then we will verticut and seed those areas free of charge as well. It's a benefit of having ProTurf take care of your grubs. Thanks for joining us today. Um, hopefully you learned something uh, on identifying some grub worms. All it takes is a little work on identifying, get down, pulling on the turf, 
looking for the lesions on the on the leaf as fungus versus the turf pulling up with like an air pocket underneath there and finding the grubs underneath. There's, the grubs will eat the root system, so there is no no contact holding the turf down. So it pulls up really easy. You saw the damage that we we had there, and then you can see here uh, you're going to see a lot of brown on the very west side of the yard and on the southwest side as well. Um, if you think you have an issue uh, with your yard, any kind of concern at all, give us a call. Pro Turf Lawn Service, 816-318-1090 uh, and ProTurfLawn.com.